Jane with PositivelyJane.net and I just wanted to show you a few of the units that I use with Stampin' Storage. They are my favorite company for organizing my craft room and I just wanted to show you what I got. So right behind me, as you can see, I have 12 paper holders. They are all eight and a half by 11. They do not come white. I actually painted them myself and I will have a link to my resource center so that you can check out exactly what I did and how I did it. I have all my paper in rainbow order and I absolutely adore the fact that I can actually see the paper that I have. One thing I also do is I have a tag die and every single one of these papers is represented on these rings. So I go through on my craft table and figure out what color I like best with what I'm working on. And then the name of the company and the actual color is on the back. And then I can go over here and find it. But lots of times I just come over here and go, oh, I need a red. Oh, I need a pink. I need a yellow. Every single one of them have a little clear acrylic with the name right here. So I can match it up and I can show you that in my resources as well. Down here, it's kind of hard to capture, is where I keep my punches in the cabinet. And this is how the units all come. They come in this, it's not wood, I'm not really sure, fiberboard or whatever, really good quality. And this is a very large punch um, holder and I will link to that in my description as well. And when you get the punch holders, you also get these little divider things that you can put in there. And then when you put your punch in, it slides back and doesn't go the whole way back, which is really fun. Brett has thought of everything. The other thing I have over here is I have these IKEA units and um, I measure them and send them to Stampin' Storage. And I told Brett what I wanted. I wanted three 12 by 12s and one eight and a half by 11. And he took those dimensions and then he made this bottom unit for me. So I have one, two, three five slots at the top and four at the bottom and he made that and everything fits on there exactly. So he will make anything custom for you. You just got to give him some time. The other thing that he did for me is I had this island made years ago and I ordered, I wanted all my ribbons on the back of the island so I could see them. So he made me four ribbon holders and they fit in there exactly as you can see and I had those painted as well and as you can see I keep some jars of buttons and things and it's so convenient to find ribbon. There's lots of different sizes that you could buy and the beauty about Stampin' Storage products is you can lay them on a, sit them on a table or he also has cleats that you can hang them on the wall. So you don't have to be limited to your table space. The other thing that I have going on over here is this is my craft table this is where I work and this is my my um, standard inks these are the inks that I'm always reaching for my blacks and my whites they're all labeled and I have no trouble keeping them on their sides they haven't dry, dried out they haven't ran nothing bad has happened to them so when I'm sitting I just have to go to the left reach and grab the inks and last but not least I have my ink storage right here this is the slim ink storage. I like my ink on the long side, but I do label both sides. And this is 120 slim ink units. I actually had this cabinet made to fit in this unit. Then I have a um, 48 slim ink unit and a 60 distress ink unit. And these two equal the size of these two. So that's kind of cool too. Stamp and storage is kind of made them so that the dimensions can go together so that you can stack things up. And as you can see, I have an empty space here waiting for me to buy a few more inks. And that's really all I got. I just wanted to show you what Stampin' Storage has done for me. I love them. The people are great. They have a brand new store that you can actually go into and walk into and touch and feel. And they have a lot of really cool different ideas on their website. And I will link all of that for you in the um, description. Thanks for coming by. Bye.